It's showtime, folks. Welcome back to the Real Pastors YouTube channel. My name is Gary over there on the left. Maybe you're right. I don't know where he is. But uh, uh, my good buddy Efren, we're back with another Blu ray 4K review. Mm -hmm. And uh, Efren, before we begin, I think we should give a shout out to our new subscribers. Our subscriptions mm -hmm. have gone crazy lately. And just want to say hello and thank you. Yeah. Thanks for subscribing. Really appreciate it. It uh, was great because literally overnight we've gained 10 more. So thank you to all who have mm -hmm. subscribed. We are very excited that more and more of you guys are deciding to join us on this journey of just some pastors who love movies and want to talk about them. So thanks yeah. for coming along with us. We thank you. Our wives thank you. Mm -hmm. And yes, thank you. And feel free, share, post, whatever you need to do. Comment along. Thanks for being on this journey, like Efren said. Yep. And if one of our awesome subs have told you, check these guys out, uh, go ahead and subscribe because I think yeah. you're going to like the content we have for you guys. We have fun. So. Yep. We try to anyways. We try. And Speaking uh, of fun, uh, mm -hmm. we have a Blu-ray to review um, today. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show it. Ghostbusters Afterlife. Yes. Came and uh, yesterday. We both got our copy. I left mine downstairs and I was too lazy to go get it. But I do have it, and I watched it last night. And Gary, I didn't tell you this off air, but I just thought about this. I think you need to share with everyone your story you shared with me yesterday okay. about All Ghostbusters right. before we get into this review. Yes. So, okay. So, Efren and I live in the same town of Kernersville, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And Target is usually our go-to on new release dates, Target or Best Buy. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm feeling extra lazy, I'll do Amazon Prime, um, which they actually have one on the way right now. Groundhog Day is coming today on Groundhog Day. I thought that was clever. Oh, anyway, good for you. Uh, so I sure it, Megan's proud. She hasn't she hasn't seen it yet. She hasn't oh. seen the Amazon cart yet. So anyway, <laughs> there we go. Where she hears me. Uh, yesterday, put in my order for pickup, drive up at Target yesterday morning because priorities. You know, mm -hmm. want to make sure I had it for the show. You know what I mean? Don't want to come on the show and be like, "Hey, I didn't get it," like a loser. You yeah. Know? So. I realized as I get to Target that I actually have to go in to get something. So I was like, all right, I'll just go up to the desk to pick it up. So I walk up there and I said, hello, uh, order, blah, 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 you know. And they're like, we see it in the system, but we don't have it up here. And the guy, they're like looking around and I'm just standing there, you know, and just taking, I'm, you know, I'm not in a big hurry. And I'm like, so, okay, you know, because I know if they can't find it, though, there's one in the store somewhere. You know, mm -hmm. it's like 8 a.m. or 9. I don't know what time it is. But all of a sudden, he looks up and he goes, any chance your wife picked this up for you? <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. Her priority is not Ghostbusters this morning <laughs> like me. No. Um, she doesn't even know I'm here. <laughs> but uh, he goes, you sure? Was it a blonde lady by any chance? And I was like, no, that's not my wife. And then I started thinking. I was like, wait a minute. He said, yeah, a blonde lady came here and picked up Ghostbusters. And I was like. Was her name Katie by any chance? <laughs> he looked at the system. He goes, yes, yes, it was. And I said, that's my best friend's wife. She was here picking up for him. <laughs> and it was just, it just, it made me laugh. Yeah. Cool. And to follow that up. So what I did, did I had ordered um, the night before I had ordered Ghostbusters 1 and 2 Blu-ray with 4K scanning because good friend Gary told me about it and I just have them on DVD. So I was like, yeah, sweet. I'll do that instead of buying the actual 4K. And so I ordered that Monday night. And then Tuesday morning, I ordered Afterlife because I couldn't pre-order because they were out or whatever. And so my wife went and got that one, the Blu-ray of one and two. And that's what that horror deal happened. And then I went back later with my wife to actually get Afterlife because <laughs> it was ready later. And then the guy, and we were in the car, the guy comes out. And Kenny's like, that's the guy. Was and awesome. yeah, and she goes, hey, I'm back getting more Ghostbusters. He's like, oh, yeah, your friend came by. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> And so uh, that guy is probably like, these guys are weird. Um, yeah. But there, there's our Ghostbusters fiasco yeah. of having to go get the movie. And so we could watch like it and that, review it. Something like that was bound to happen. We live in this small town, yeah. you know, and we're both, you know, we're both going to go get our movies. And mm -hmm. uh, hats off to Katie for making that trip for you. Um, yes. You know. Uh, I want to tell Megan that story, but I'm going to wait a few weeks because she doesn't. Well, you know, she watched it with me last night, so I, I need to tell her that story. I told oh, her. yeah, you got to tell her. Yeah. But uh, guy from Target, I don't remember your name, uh, but thanks for your help. And uh, thanks for subscribing. He subscribed yes. yesterday, I think. So one of the yes. 10. So. Anyway, All right. 
So fun back story. into the review. I back know we just we just figured I figured hey let's have yeah. the fun story because it was hilarious. Indeed, yeah, that was good. That, stuff like that is for the show. I think for, for yes. us to talk about. You know, you mm-hmm. got to talk about stuff like that. Oh yeah. So, I watched this last night with the wife. We've already reviewed the movie. You guys all know Efren and mm-hmm. I loved it. What a blast this movie is. Yes. Um, and I can tell if a movie is good or not. Well, not necessarily because Megan watched it with me last night and. When Megan's not excited or just kind of wants to casually watch a movie, she'll start off on her phone and look up every now and then, and I'll just glance over and see, you know. And then the test is, does the phone get put away? And Mm -hmm. about 10 minutes in, her phone was put away, and she was on this Ghostbusters journey with me. Nice. So, yeah, Jason Reitman, you did a great job. You got my wife to put her phone away and watch this uh, movie, Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, we had a blast, so – uh, how do we want to talk? Start off. Do we want to start off with picture quality, I'll, and then I'll let you talk about sound because I, you know, I got yeah. regular sound stuff. Gotcha. And then uh, some extra content. So I'll just say, yeah. picture quality on this was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, it really uh, clear, smooth picture, and it didn't look uh, waxy or mm-hmm. enhanced or anything. It was just a very nice picture. And from what I'm understanding, Sony and Columbia put out the best picture content people say and uh mm. and they continued with another stunning image last yeah. night on this blu-ray release <clears throat> yeah and i would agree and i think for me especially with new movies what i look for is the clarity mm-hmm. um you know how clear does it look does it look more like hey i'm looking through a window as opposed to like i can mm-hmm. tell i'm looking at a screen mm-hmm. um <clears throat> because when you talk about newer movies, I mean, you have better cameras now that they're filming with and all that kind of stuff. And when they make the transfer, so it should, when you get 4k, it should look really good. I mean, the yeah. Blu-rays normally look good. 4k mm-hmm. should just look a little sharper, a little clearer. Um, you know, you should be able to see people's pores on their face and count <laughs> their hairs on their head. And that's what I look for. And that's what I see. And yeah, and this is great. Of course, my only complaint is, uh, Probably the same complaint I had was with other ones is uh, why wasn't the IMAX version on this? I'm gonna, you know what, guys, I'm gonna keep bringing it up. <laughs> I'm gonna keep bringing it up because I'm rolling. You know, of course, I'm sitting through the credits again because I want to see the end credit because mm-hmm. you know I did fast forward, but of course at the very end because I don't want to miss anything. You know, formatted for IMAX. No, it wasn't. It oh. made, yes, in the theater, sure, but it wasn't on the disc. No, and uh, still, still my complaint. Listen, we got big screen yeah. TVs. Fill up my big screen. That's all I'm asking. Um, and so yeah, but um. But I mean, the, uh, it, it's just it's just a minor complaint that I will continue to have until people do it right again. Sony, you did it with Venom. Let there be carnage. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Yeah, that, that, yeah I get that. And uh, I, the scene that is depicted on the cover, which we'll talk about in a minute, would have been great uh, on an IMAX screen. On an IMAX. Yeah, screen, yeah. I get that. And uh, yeah, I'm with you on that. Um, and uh, one thing that with 4K, I don't want to get too much into it. Is mm-hmm. the jump from blu-ray to 4k isn't as big as dvd yeah. to blu-ray but the 4k uhd it looks realer yes um and hdr the color enhancement when they're mm-hmm. driving through the cornfield it was it popped yeah in a very realism type of way so sony hats off did a great job with this yep. picture quality wise and uh and i'll say on second viewing it continued to, to hold up yes and uh, yep. continued to like it so yeah, for me it would have been third because I took my daughter, but um, mm-hmm. you know, to the movie again. But it was it was great, and like I said, the HDR really does make a difference. Um, and I thought this one was good. There was only like a couple scenes where I thought they did maybe too good of a job with the HDR because gotcha. it looked it looked it had a little bit of the uh, soap opera effect, if you oh, know what yeah. I mean. And yeah. so like, but it was just a couple scenes that it looked yeah. that way, um, but not like the whole scene. I guess it was more of like a, a panning shot. Gotcha. I was just kind of like. Okay, that's a little too clear because a, a little too clear, yeah. Yeah, because I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because in real life, if you pan, not it's not super clear. Yeah. So when the panning is way too clear, you get that yeah. soap soap opera effect. But mm-hmm. other than that, I mean, everything else looks really and, good. And I'm it, glad you, sorry. Mm-hmm. No, go ahead. I'm glad you brought that up because, folks, um, it's a big deal in Hollywood. Um, directors, actors are telling people go into your settings and make sure that setting is turned off. Mm-hmm. because that takes away from how they want you to view these movies. And yeah. uh, some people like that weird soap opera effect. I don't. And uh, don't I need to it, just, it just really is like, oh, what is that? Stop it. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. and, uh, but uh, it's not how these directors and actors want you to see the movie. So go into your settings, smooth imaging. Sometimes it's called, turn it off. Yeah. Uh, 
So yeah, image smoothing, smoothing, yeah. inter- either way. So, something along those lines or like automatic smoothing, yeah. turn that off because it turn does it, it, it does take you out of it. And it does. Y- you don't notice it in Blu-ray, but in 4K, you notice it. You definitely notice it in 4K. And so, yeah. Yeah. And uh, it gives me a headache if I see it too much. Yeah. Which thankfully, like I said, it was just a couple of like when they were down in like Egon's mm-hmm. basement and yeah. you're kind of panning through. That's where I noticed it. It was mm-hmm. like the quick pan. But then once once the... You know, once his daughter or um, – see, now I just think McKenna Grace. Phoebe. Once yeah. Phoebe's, like, in frame, it goes away. But it's just those quick moments because they're trying to show you things. You're like, ah, I don't like yeah. that. Um, but which is funny because it's like for something like 4K, it's a little too clear because, yeah. again, it just looks fake. And so yep. – but other than that, everything else everything else mm-hmm. is really good. And I, I want to say one thing about the movie just because I don't know when we'll talk about this movie again and not necessarily to review. I did – enjoy it very much um i will say though on second viewing i i want to th- i feel like they rushed to the ending a little bit i don't mm-hmm. know if i if i caught that in the first viewing um but i felt like when gozer shows up and she just rips jk simmons in oh, half oh um, yeah you know and it just i felt like i was like you know that was kind of oh, rushed so yeah you know um yeah well because a lot because it, i think Anyways, we can talk about that another day. But part of that, I think, is because they had little one-liners that referred to this same guy built stuff in New York and yeah, yeah, this kind of stuff. So they were just kind of like, you know who this is. Let's move on. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I, st- I still understand the rush feeling, but yeah. I think I think that's why they did it. Because they're like, we don't want to spend a lot of time on it, but it's kind of important. Yeah. And I, I wanted to say that because I think I fanboyed out way too much in our initial, our initial review. So I wanted to say one thing a little. I wanted to nitpick just a bit. You know? <laughs> just a bit, yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, picture yeah. quality it gets the pass for me. Let's go to the sound effort. And I'll let you take over yeah. here because I, I I don't I mean sounded good to me, but I don't know. Yeah, it sounded good to him. He's working on just normal TV yeah. uh, speakers, so you don't get the surround sound effect. Yeah. Um, you don't get the Dolby you know, the Dolby Atmos effect. Um, and so and this also had Dolby Vision. So if your TV does Dolby Vision, by the way, it still looks good with that. And Dolby Atmos. Um, the thing that I've been impressed most with. Because every, it seems like all the new stuff is coming with Dolby Atmos. What I'm impressed the most is, again, the clarity, right? Because with sound, you can have surround sound, and you can have it sound a little muddled. Um, you can have, you know, the bass being way too loud. And so now some of that is on the individual. Make sure your settings are set up right. So mm-hmm. let me just say that. But when the settings are set up, um, the sound quality really is really is important, especially when you have surround sound, and especially when you're trying to have a good balance of of talking like like your dialogue and then the background music and everything else going on christopher nolan get it right moving right along Uh, (laughs) i know but this but this one was great because it was when you have things like cars speeding by ghosts flying around you want to hear that effect of like you can hear like the ghosts moving around the room with you and then coming back on screen because that to me that always helps with like when you're watching the movie, you kind of feel like you're in it because you can only see one direction, right? And then you can hear all around you. And so it, it gave us that that feeling like right off the bat in the opening scene where Egon is driving out of the mountain and getting chased. Like it was awesome because I could, you know, I could see in the front and it would go to, you know, it would pan to my left and then boom, all the way out towards the back. And I would hear the ghost do the same thing. Um, and the clarity was just, was just phenomenal because I've heard surround sound where the back speakers like you would hear stuff, but it wasn't clear. Again, all I know, you know, those who are sound nerds, they may be like, well, maybe you have bad speakers. Maybe your setting's wrong. I get all that. But even when you have it all right, sometimes it doesn't sound good. And I, I'm, for me, I'm, I'm blown away with Dolby Atmos and how it sounds and, and the way it just, it's so crisp and it's so right as it's spinning through, um, you know, through all the surround sound stuff. I mean, I, it, I just thought it was really great, especially for a movie like this where there's always stuff swirling and stuff happening. Like the, like the last scene where stuff swirling around, I felt like I was in the middle of a hurricane. Like it was great. So it was really, really good. I imagine the, the Echo One siren and the uh, oh yeah uh, stuff sounded pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because on my lame loser setup, um, it sounded good. So I can't imagine what it sounded like with a uh, setup like that. Yeah. And I will say someday when I get a real job, my first uh, my first big purchase may be a sound system. So yeah. maybe I will be you. there to help you hook it up, sir. And yes, you will have to. Right. I, I don't understand. Anything, so. <laughs> yeah, it'll be yeah. like when the cable or the internet guy comes over and I was like, all right, do your thing. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, it, and the thing is, is what people don't realize with sound is that part of the, part of the awesome theater experience is that you have great sound. And you feel yeah. like you're in the movie. And so, you know, we 
I mean, unless you got money to spare, it's hard to have that in your house, yeah. you know? So like being able to, to have decent quality stuff, like in my case, I have decent, I don't have super top of the line, but I got decent stuff. Having that and being able to still have a pretty close experience of, I feel like I'm in this movie. It, it just says a lot. And I think and a lot of that is a sound mix that they put on these discs and they did a good job. Right on, right on. Good job, Sony. Yes. So, uh, so we're going to go into an area that I feel pretty passionate about. Some people might think it's not that big a deal, but it is to me. Um, cover art. Yep. Um, Sony. <laughs> this is just lazy. <laughs> um, that's a great scene. Um, but it this is. is, I mean, I don't need the quotes on there. That's a, a very cheesy 90s thing. Mm -hmm. um, and you can do better than this. And, and I think I know why you did it. And you wanted people to buy the ultimate collection. Well, mm -hmm. we didn't. Um, but yeah, do better. Yeah. I mean, they should have used, I'm pretty sure the Blu-ray has the poster of, of them all. Yes. In front. Of, that's what they still should have used. For, like they should have used that across the board. They should have used that for this 4k again. Great better. scene. I think that's great. I love seeing the Ecto one and all that. Like it was cool, but I think you should have just used that normal poster, I guess. For that, um, yeah. and I think, and I think it would have been better to so me. And like for me, I hate, I hate the quotes. Like if you're gonna do it, do like some do it. One little quote at the bottom, that's out of the way of the picture. Like I've always hated quotes on the, on the cover art like that. I've never liked that. And I don't, and I don't understand. I mean, this is a pretty big release, you know. Um, no steel book, no digi book. And I know you had the ultimate collection coming out, and I know that's why you did it. But come on, yeah. come on. Yeah, and that, and that is why. They put all their eggs in the in the ultimate collection, mm -hmm. and uh, and then everything else was normal. They're not going to do both. Which um, I guess it worked for them because they posted it that they sold out. They completely sold out of those, and they're not oh. anymore. Yep. So, oh, okay. Nice. So, yeah. so. Well, we, Gary and I could not justify spending a no. hundred dollars on <laughs> no on on go on the Ghostbusters movies, and then one of them that we didn't want anyways. Yeah, and I already <laughs> have the first two on Blu-ray. So I couldn't yeah. justify it. And, uh, yeah. but did you also hear, um, people were complaining, uh, a lot of people got two copies of Ghostbusters two instead of Ghostbusters. 1. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. hmm. So yeah. So that's, that's, that's an issue. Don't there. need to fix that. Don't need to but, fix yeah. that. But we know that's what they were pushing, but, uh, yeah, yeah. But, know, we, we couldn't do that. Yeah. So. But yeah, so that cover art, man, that needs to be different. I mean, you guys have heard us talk about how awesome some of these other steel books are, mm -hmm. um, and we do, we do, we love movie posters. We love, you know, cover art. We love all that kind of stuff. And this is one that I think it was, I think it was a little bit of a miss. Maybe they spent most of their time on that ultimate, uh, ultimate cut edition, whatever mm -hmm. the crap yeah, they call it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which again, I looked at it. It looked cool. I mean, the box looks, looks cool. like a ghost trap. Like it's awesome. Apparently um, it lights up when you take a movie out. So I was like, uh, so even better. So all that's really cool. I'm glad I didn't see that before I before I yeah, bought <laughs> me too. That would, been, that would have been bad news. So. Oh, me too. Um, we, we would yeah. both be in very yeah. a lot of trouble with the wives. If, oh yeah, if oh, we yeah. knew that. Yeah. So uh, we'll give a thumbs up on sound, thumbs up on picture Carl. You get a big thumbs down on cover art, and mm -hmm. uh, let's go to our last category, bonus features, which I haven't had the time to check them out. I don't know if you have, but the back of it it's got some pretty. It says over 45 minutes of bonus content. Mm -hmm. So. All right. Yeah. So we've got a – it's going to go through a thing where it reveals the Easter eggs. Yeah. You know, in case we missed any. Which those are always fun. Yes. Ghostbusters, a look back, which mm -hmm. I think is a, maybe a featurette on the uh, the original, um, which I'm going to check yeah. that out. Uh, bringing back the Etco 1, back to – bringing the Etco 1 back to life. Mm -hmm. That could be interesting. Uh, Ghostbusters gadgets and – a deleted scene so there's just one deleted scene which is a yeah. surprise there and, and more so yeah yeah and some of that um and, and just so you guys know those special features are on the blu-ray disc yeah. they're not on the 4k disc um i'm assuming it's uh it's a capacity thing because most mm -hmm. 4k discs do not have bonus features i think that's why we're still getting blu-ray disc with the 4k because that's where they stick all the bonus features um because i know like the blu-ray disc um what is it they can have they can store up to about 60 gigs yeah of, of stuff or something like that yeah. um i'm not sure what the four i mean i guess obviously the 4k can't store that much because they're not sticking it on there probably because of the high definition stuff they got to put on there um yeah. but so make sure you don't just tell your buddy 
Hell yeah, sure. You can just have my Blu-ray. I don't use it. Yeah. That's where all the bonus features is. And especially yeah, for something that. like Ghostbusters with the look back yeah, of Ghostbusters 1 and 2 and bringing back Ecto. That is stuff. Mm -hmm. Again, I haven't got a chance to watch it because it was like mm -hmm. 11 o'clock when I ended last night. My wife Same. fell asleep on the couch. You know, Same. we're old. We need to go to bed. Um, but I will be watching it. And so do not get rid of that Blu-ray disc. No, that's where your yep. bonus features are. Yep. I'm going to, as soon as I'm done with Book of Boba Fett here in a little bit, I'm going to check out the extras. And maybe I'll comment on the bottom let everybody know what I think um maybe we can do that uh mm -hmm. so uh but yeah i mean pretty solid features it sounds like so yep i'd check it out yeah one of these days we'll be able to actually watch them for this review <laughs> i know. know yeah the, our priority is sound and picture yeah you know? and cover art you know but we'll let but we will let you know what the bonus features are so if you don't feel like looking it up we got you yeah yeah, we got you. We got you. Yeah. So, well, that's our review of Ghostbusters Afterlife Blu-ray, 4K Ultra HD, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, if you wanted to check it out, uh, I recommend picking it up. If you and it is definitely shelf worthy. Glad mm -hmm. to have it on the shelf. And uh, yeah, maybe this. Hopefully, this review helped you uh, decide to go pick it up if you're on the fence. Yep, and uh, definitely, definitely worth it. And uh, just look past the cover. Because you know what? It's not the outside that counts. It's the inside. It, and the inside beautiful. is plenty. That was beautiful, Efren. Yeah. I try. I try. Thanks for watching, folks. This was for Harold. Yes, it was. Rest in peace, sir. <laughs>